in a fairly short Road to Soccer Genesis tour, which the Soccer Genesis show is taking place on Sunday, April the 4th this year. In fact, the shows today and tomorrow, show to happen today and have show happen in the morning, are the only ones that are going to be streamed on New Japan World. We only got four stops on this tour, guys, so let's get going. We're the almighty SOS Wrestling Network. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. I'm the Pro Wrestling Fly God, Stardust Yaku, a.k.a. Mr. Good Smoke. You know what it is. Here to get this fucking Road to Soccer Genesis card underway. So let's get into it, man. First match we had on the show, we had Master Wado, Yoda Suji, Yuyamura, and Gabriel Kidd. Pretty much a team full of young lions, if you think about it. Taking on the Los Ingobernables de Japon team of Tetsuya Naito, Sanada, Shingo Takagi, and Bushi right here. So an odd sight for me, guys. We got LIJ in the opener. It's a really, really odd sight. But here we are. None of the LIJ crew, in my opinion, or for anybody's opinion, maybe, having a lot to do before Sunday's match. They're on the back burner here, and the, pretty much the main focus is who is the United Empire's new member right here. So, we get a nice eight-man tag team match right here. We get the Japanese clutch from Sonata. He gets the victory, I believe, over Yuya Yamura right here. Just a decent opener. One that probably went how you would expect it to go. It was a nice little uh, bonus where we had Yoda Suchi facing off with Tetsuya Naito. That's going to be something that I want to keep my eye on because people, I've been seeing people talk about Yoda Suchi Naito, give Naito a single, or give Yoda Suchi a singles match with Tetsuya Naito. I want to see that singles, and I got something to say to that. Hold on. You ain't earned no singles match with Tetsuya, Tetsuya Naito, little nigga. Sit back, man. You, you you got a long way to go if you can get a singles match with that dude. But if that's what y'all want on Twitter, by by God, Tetsuya Naito will put this man out of his misery. This is a young lion out of his misery, and y'all get what y'all want. So we'll probably have that happen soon. Tetsuya Naito taking on Yoda Suji in a special singles match. I'll keep my eye on that right there. So uh, I don't know. Put down in the comments, guys. Do y'all want to see Yoda Suji versus Tetsuya Naito? I mean, I really don't have any say in a yay or a nay. So... I, w I would love seeing Naito just wash Young Lion just, cause, just to wash him. That'd be great. So let me know if y'all want to see that. Because, yeah, I would definitely like to see that. Or not see that. It's whatever what Naito wants, man. If Naito wants to have it happen, shit will happen. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next match here. And the second match we had take place on the show, ladies and gentlemen. We had the team of the Suzuki Gun Trio, El Desperado, Yoshinobu Kanemaru, and Doki defeating Tiger Mask, Raizuke Taguchi, and Show by submission here. El Desperado submitted Tiger Mask via the numero dos, and this is pretty much the ascension of my man El Desperado right here. And I thought it was kind of peculiar that Yo wasn't in any of these matches right here. I don't know if they're just trying to save him for Sunday, but man, that kind of might lead into the United Empire's next member, but I don't know. It was just weird that he wasn't out here today. Uh, it was a solid match right here. I'm always happy to see uh, the trio of Desperado, Yoshinobu, Kanemaru, and Doki. They're pretty solid right here. Tiger Mask is still looking good for his age, man. Shout out to him and Taguchi. My man's pretty much the Yano of the junior heavyweight division, which is not a bad thing. He can get serious when he needs to. This was okay. Next match we got... We had the Bullet Club, Evil, Kenta, Bad Luck, Fale, Yujiro Takahashi, and Taji Ishimori defeating the Chaos Contingent of Kazuchika Okada, Yoshihashi, Tomohiro Ishii, Hiroki Goto, and Toroyano by pinfall. Taji Ishimori actually hit Hiroki Goto with a bloody car cross pretty much due to Kenta hitting Hiroki Goto with the, uh, I want to say the bow staff of Yoshihashi. So it was a weird, really weird and peculiar sight seeing a junior heavyweight pin a heavyweight right here, even by dubious means. So, Taji Ishimori pins Hiroki Goto, and that was a mix-up for New Japan Pro Wrestling, so shout-out to them. I did not expect that finish, man, so pretty good stuff. And now we got more Bullet Club stuff. We got Jay White, Ghetto, and Jado defeating the Hiroshi Tanahashi's Toshi Kojima and Hiroshi Tenzan by pinfall. We got the Blade Runner by Jay White on the Satoshi Kojima getting the victory right here. I think it was a little under 13 minutes, so pretty much the crux of this match was Tanahashi using uh, flexing poses to evade any wrestling, you know, inter interaction that he had. And I thought that's pretty hilarious right here. It's pretty entertaining. We know what this is doing. It's leading up to the Never Open Weight Championship match we're going to get this weekend at Sakura Genesis between Jay White and Hiroshi Tanahashi. It's kind of peculiar that they're having a match this quickly. Maybe they're doing this match a little bit too much, in my opinion. But, hey, we'll talk about that when we need to talk about it. And in the main event of this show, we have the United Empire's Will Ospreay, the leader, Great Okan, and Jeff Cobb defeating the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion, Kota Ibushi. Yuji Nagata and Tamaki Homa by a pinfall in about 14 minutes and 58 seconds. We got 
Osprey hitting the Stormbreaker on Tamaki Homa right here. And they had a nice little visual, too. It was uh, Ibushi. He was actually trapped in a cross-face chicken wing by Jeff Cobb. And this self-proclaimed god was actually helpless as well. Osprey dropped Tamaki Homa with the Stormbreaker. So we get a momentum-boosting win for Will Osprey. Osprey, after the match, promised to not only win the IWGP Heavyweight World Heavyweight Championship, but he promised to kill God. The same uh, sentiments were echoed backstage by the great Okan. So we're off to the show tomorrow. It's going to be the only two shows we have for the week, for the week as far as the Road to Soccer Genesis show. LK and myself should be back tomorrow talking about that. So, yeah. I think we're going to be in Corken Hall tomorrow night as well. So, on the road to Soccer Genesis, we are the almighty SOS Wrestling Network. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Price of subscription, my friends, is free 99 It don't cost you a damn penny. So, just do that thing, man. But, yeah, y'all, I'm up out of here. It's the Pro Wrestling Fly Guy, man, bringing y'all the Soccer Genesis action, man. I think I might have a reaction video for the heavyweight title, world heavyweight title, once we see it. So, be on the lookout for that, guys. And until then, y'all know what to do, man. Even though LIJ and Tetsuya Naito... Are pretty much taking a backseat spot on this tour. Y'all know what to do, ladies and gentlemen. Please, just tranquilo, man. I'm up out of here, man. You know what it is, man. Almighty SOS Wrestling Network, man. Shit, we're dropping bodies every fucking day, man. Like, share, subscribe, dog. Let's go.